Good morning, Greenlight the Day family. Welcome back. My name is Jane. Today I want to share with you a quote by Martin Luther King where he said, Everyone has the power for greatness, not for fame, but greatness, because greatness is determined by service. And I saw this quote on an article that was on the O Magazine online from back in 2010, where Oprah is talking about God dreaming a bigger dream for us than, um, than we do. You know, where when you put your life, you know, and when it becomes less about being successful and more about service, how the universe answers to us, right? Uh, let me read this little clip that she wrote. What I know for sure is that if you want to have success, you can't make success your goal. As my friend Whitley Phipps, the gospel singer minister, once told me, the key is not to worry about being successful, but to instead work towards being significant. And the success will naturally follow. How can you serve your way to greatness? When you shift your focus from success to service, your work as a teacher, clerk, doctor, or entrepreneur will instantly have more meaning. Starting today, you can decide to have a life of significance by how you give yourself to others. In his book, The Soul's Code, James Hillman says that the way to true success is to honor your calling. Have the courage to follow your passion. And if you don't know what it is, realize that one reason for your existence on earth is to find it. It won't come to you through some special announcement or through a burning bush. Your life's work is to find your life's work. And then to exercise the discipline, tenacity, and hard work it takes to pursue it. How do you know whether you're on the right path, with the right person, or in the right job? The same way you know when you're not. You feel it. Each of us has a personal call to greatness. And because yours is as unique as you, as your fingerprint, no one can tell you what it is. Ignoring your passion is like dying a slow death. Your life is speaking to you every day, all the time, and your job is to listen up and find the clues. Passion whispers to you through your feelings, beckoning you towards your highest good. Pay attention to what makes you feel energized, connected, stimulated. What gives you your juice? Do what you love. Give it back in the form of service, and you will do more than succeed. You will triumph. I love that. I love that. And this is how I'm going to tell you how it's going to greenlit my day and how I am applying it to my life. I'm greenlighting my day today because I realized that I'm, live, I'm in a place right now where my dreams are becoming 3D. Years ago, like around 2008, 2009, I made a vision board. And, you know, I put stuff on it like everybody does. And I feel because I've not, and, I, and it sounds like I'm glorifying myself, but really I'm not, but I feel like I sent out this invitation, you know, to the universe years ago. And I feel the universe said, no, yeah, that's, that's pretty good little girl. You know, those are some pretty good <laughs> dreams. All right. But how about I go, you went up. How about instead of just giving you this stuff, why don't I just answer the desires of your heart? I'm just going to go underneath all that stuff and give you the desires of your heart, the life that that stuff symbolizes. I, I am living an amazing time in my life right now. I'm living an amazing time. And there's just something about knowing that God dreamed a little bit, a bigger dream for me than I did. That is rather humbling. But this is why I believe in dreams and this is why I believe in the magic. So 
really honestly when people say what you know all the things they say their cynicism their cynicism saying I pray all the time and they don't get answered well it's not about just sitting on the couch saying a prayer and then saying God bring it I believe that we work towards it I sent out an invitation and then I was shown a path I didn't know where that path was taking me I didn't but I had faith I had faith that this was the path for me and so I started walking down this path and I have gone through all these curves and obstacles and you know crazy things that have happened and I see I see at the end of the tunnel you know there is light at the end of the tunnel I do see where this is leading me now I didn't know where it was leading me before it was just about being in service about asking God to use me paying it forward being of service to others as much as I possibly can with what I can you know that's what I've been trying to do but I've been on this path and I've been working you know as I can you know towards you know a, a, a future that I was wishing for but I didn't know I didn't know that I mean I'd heard it but I didn't know about God dreaming a bigger dream and so the future I'm working for now as I'm seeing it unfold it's nothing that I ever expected it's bigger than I ever imagined it's something that I never even prayed for you know I never prayed for it but was it the desires of my heart yeah it was a desire of my heart but I put it away in a box you know, I only took it out on special occasions to look at it, to go through my jewelry, right, through my treasure. And I feel like God said, no, this is your treasure. And life is short, and you got to wear it every day. So open up that box, put it on, you know, put it on every day, and let your dreams come out of the vision board into your life. So all of those things that I put on my vision board, the ones that mattered, are coming out at me in 3D. They're becoming a part of my life. And I'm just going to green light my day in so much gratitude, with so much gratitude that it's happening. There's a part of me, there's that little voice in me that's saying, no, this is not real and you don't deserve it. human the human and all her fears are just there chattering but the soul who I am the watcher watching my human says oh little girl little girl settle down Shh. don't say anything just embrace it and so that's how I'm gonna green light my day today embracing it being grateful for it being very very grateful and I wish the same thing for you let your dreams come out into 3d whatever you had on your vision board whether it's physical or mental let those dreams come out at you in 3d and embrace them Greenlight your day, people. Let your dreams come out in 3D. Embrace it. Be grateful for it. Know that there's a little slice of heaven for all of us. And it does, we don't have to wait till it, we're up in the sky somewhere. If you're walking your path, if you're walking your life with meaning, if you're following the signs of omens, if you're allowing the universe to conspire for you, oh, there's there's a heaven. There's a heaven, all right, and you're working towards it. I love you. Green light your day. Mwah.